So this mini lecture is discussing how to create a histogram using Microsoft Excel. All right. So first, let's um, input some of our data, which will be our observations in column A. So I'm just going to do these randomly. However, you already have had your observations listed somewhere in some type of problem of some sort. So I'll just punch in a bunch of different numbers. Two, four, nine, two, one, eight, six, six, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, seven, execute one, and nine. Next in column B. I'll input only the upper limit. We usually have a lower limit and an upper limit for the class interval, but in Excel we only input the upper limit. So let's say my limits were between 0 and 2. So I'll input a 2 here. Between 3 and 5, 5 goes here between 6 and 8, it goes there, between 9 and 11, and it goes there. And the rule says that we need to add at least no fewer than 5, so we'll go with one more. I probably should have made my intervals, intervals smaller, but that's okay. We'll go with 14. So let me just add one more observation here. And let's, say, let's make this 12. So on the left-hand column, we have my observations. On the right-hand column, we have um, our upper limits for our classes. So all we do next is just go to data analysis. Data analysis, and then I click on histogram. Okay, it says input range. Well, my input range is my list of observations, so I have to highlight A1 through 17 because these are all my observations. So now I want to enter my bin range, which is my upper limits for my classes. Um, I want to make sure I have new worksheet ply checked off and chart output. Click OK. And Excel has created the histogram. And it gives me a little chart with the bin and the frequency. And then here's the histogram. I can click inside the histogram. And then pull the arrow down, which helps me enlarge the histogram. So this was creating a histogram using Microsoft Excel.